We believe that our universe is limitless, infinite, and unimaginably huge. But can you imagine if this universe is actually small and insignificant? What if everything you've ever known and ever will know is actually subatomic nothingness to something else much, much bigger? What if the universe is an atom? Let's find out in today's video. The visible universe spans more than 90 billion light years. The unobservable universe is far larger. As a whole, the cosmos is so big that it's almost impossible to understand. Yet, from some angles and according to some beliefs, it could all be so insignificant. Current calculations suggest that the unobservable cosmos could have a diameter of up to 20 trillion light years, a spectacular distance. However, while a distance of up to 20 trillion light years is immense, the vast majority of it is most likely empty. We can legitimately presume this based on what we know about the visible universe, which is that it is homogeneous in all directions, but also that observable stuff is rare. To our eyes, the majority of things is nothing. Even so, this observable matter does not just happen. It's not just a case of it being there. Any physics textbook will tell you that matter is made up of atoms, the small particles that make up everything in existence. And because atoms are so little, even our most powerful optical microscopes can't see them. We have little idea what they look like outside expected scientific schematics. Nonetheless, rigorous science has shown that atoms exist and that they're made up of subatomic particles such as protons, neutrons, electrons, and quarks. For example, we now know that atoms are so little and numerous that the average adult human contains approximately 7 octillion of them, a 7 with 27 zeros after it. It's amazing, therefore, that some theories propose that every individual, everything, everywhere, our entire observable and unobservable cosmos could be an atom in and of itself. One such hypothesis is the one electron universe theory, which states that what we call electrons are all the result of a single particle. With that particle, that single electron, infinitely going backwards and forwards through time so swiftly that we sense it as many, so delicately rendering and shaping our entire reality. Unsurprisingly, there isn't much support in the scientific community for this particular notion. However, it is a beginning point and there are other comparable ideas that have received more support. The more prevalent view holds that while all atoms, electrons, and qualities of matter exist as we know them, they all equate to the equivalent of one atom in another much larger universe. With its origins in multiverse theory, this is an idea that science fiction writers and filmmakers have frequently explored, that everything we know may fit on the fingertips of something else, that our cosmos is nothing more than a moat of dust on a higher plane of reality. Alternatively, we can turn inwards and assume that all of the atoms that comprise our existence contain entire other existences within them. It's a mind-bending concept that, once again, is based on the concept of infinity. Aside from being the foundation of Buzz Lightyear's popular catchphrase, infinity is an immensely, infinitely huge concept to try and grasp. However, if we adopt the multiverse idea, it may be interpreted to indicate that, regardless of how huge our universe is, another universe could be infinitely larger, making us, in comparison to anything else in that greater universe, subatomic. And if we look about, we can see that the cosmos, at least as we currently understand it, already works in this manner. All of the smallest subatomic particles combine from larger and larger items until we reach the largest astronomical objects and the most complicated known species. Massive stars in a distant galaxy, soaring buildings in a bustling city, or even that sandwich you had for lunch today all employ the same building elements. So, why limit ourselves to simply the most important things we know about? Why not expand and expand and expand until, sure, even the cosmos is simply one part of something much larger? This blurring between the micro and macro levels cannot be completely rejected until we have a true explanation of everything, a theory that reconciles quantum and classical physics and finally explains reality. After all, according to the most widely accepted account of its origin, the cosmos began as an impossibly dense and small singularity before expanding into energy and life via the Big Bang. So, everything we've ever known was once inconceivably little. Of course, 
The key distinction here is that the initial Big Bang-inspiring singularity would have contained everything needed for the atoms we currently know about, no matter how little it could have been. As a result, even at this time, we cannot assert that the cosmos was an atom. Yes, a singularity. No, not an atom. String theory, one of the more famous contenders for a theory of everything that we presently know, may get us the closest to grasping the true extent of existence. There are different models, but the overall concept is that atoms are not the spherical objects we usually depict them as. Rather, they are string-like objects that vibrate, and it's the interactions between these vibrating threads that explain everything. The rules of physics, gravitation, quantum mechanics, the whole shebang. String theory, on the other hand, has had its share of issues, one of which being dark energy. The problem is that whereas regular observable matter, the substance that string theory attempts to explain, accounts for only 5% of the cosmos, dark energy accounts for 68% and most string theory models are incapable of explaining this. However, there have lately been several attempts to include dark energy into string theory, one of which could turn the question at the top of today's movie on its head once more. A team from Sweden's Uppsala University presented details of a new variant of string theory in late 2018, in which our universe exists on the edge of a constantly expanding bubble. While most string theory concepts do propose higher dimensions beyond the four we now know about, three spatial and one time, we discover here that everything we know is only a fleck on the membrane of something much, much greater. So, who knows what's going on within or outside the bubble or how many dimensions these unknowns could account for? However, the idea suggests that the invasion of dark energy into our existence from the larger bubble universe may finally make sense. Regardless of what it means for dark energy, it's another vision of reality that might pit us as an infinitesimally small part of something much, much bigger. Something far more, maybe, than we can ever hope to comprehend. In this case, with humans serving as only one tiny component of one little cosmos on the edge of a bubble that could be one part of something even bigger, in the broad scale of things, we're basically a proton, electron, or quark. Would we expect a proton to know that it makes up a minuscule fraction of a sports car if it could think, or an atom to comprehend that it is a microscopic fraction of a single blade of grass? Obviously not, but we'd be in the same perplexing situation. Cosmic shapes resemble human shapes. There are some patterns that you simply cannot ignore when it comes to the structure and behavior of subatomic particles, cell and tissue structure, and the celestial bodies of our solar system's planets. When you compare an image of the known universe to a photo of neurons in the human brain, they look very similar. The largest known structures in the cosmos are enormous galaxy clusters with connections and empty spaces between them that mirror the organization of neurons and their pathways in the human brain. Human Eyeballs and Cosmic Nebulas Images caught using a telescope of some nebulas, such as the Helix Nebula, resemble a lot of the human eyeballs, with details such as the iris. The Spiral Pattern of Galaxies Many galaxies have a spiral form because the stars are circling galactic centers. Snail shells and some seashells have a spiral form. Is this a coincidence? Probably not. They may be following the same pattern as galaxies. The Scale of Microcosmos and Macrocosmos There are a lot of atoms in all the known matter. In galaxies, there are also a lot of stars with planets going around them. Not only do the structures of the atom world and the galactic world look the same, but the laws of physics work the same way in both, just that the scale is different. Different dimensions? I wondered if this is what spiritualists meant by dimensions, since they seem to exist at the same time but in different places. This could also be true of the idea that there could be parallel universes. Maybe there are universes inside universes, but they're on a smaller scale. The structure is almost exactly the same. There are similarities between how the brain is put together and how the universe we can see is put together. Even in the smallest parts of the structure, like the distance between neurons and the distance between galaxy clusters, these similarities can be seen. Everything in large numbers. There are a lot of electrons, atoms, human cells, people on Earth, stars in the galaxy, galaxies in a cluster. On a larger scale, I'm curious where this goes. Is it possible that there are many universes? I'm sure there could be. Finally, 
Is our solar system merely an atom in a massive brain? It could be true in theory. In practice, humanity may not learn the truth until the future. The only truth we currently know is that there are numerous similarities between the structure of the human brain and the structure of the observable cosmos. If this is true and the cosmos is a big brain, it would imply that the universe is merely a component of an intelligent being. We don't know yet, and we can only hope to find out in the future. Finally, if the universe was indeed built in this manner, it would undoubtedly shatter practically everything we thought or even assumed we knew. Indeed, we would be so profoundly mistaken about science on almost every level that human understanding would never recover from the revelation. From then on, it would be existential crises and a race to discover some brand new, extra-dimensional principles of reality. It's a good thing this is merely a thinking experiment. It's a fun way to think about things and appreciate our place in the universe. Sure, our information may be restricted and our viewpoints may be skewed, but even if all of this was subatomic insignificance, in the grand scheme of things, why should it really matter? We're here now, so let's make the most of it. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about this bizarre theory regarding our universe? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.